for sure, every team is coming for us. A championship on the line. All right, you're the champion. They're trying to make a name off you. Got a deflection. Here's Key Van Vito. Oh, layup is good. And he got you can't come out thinking it's just going to be handed to you. And that's just life. Today's best night steak on the drive. What made it most rewarding was because the people that we had, the coaches we had, the players we had. Hamilton, they need Wolf to win it. Agata puts it up. Agata is fouled. From start to finish, they were the top team in this league, and they they buttoned it down and won it. The Hamilton Honey Badgers, they held off a resilient Scarborough team, and they are the 2022 CEBL champions. Yeah, we were a pro basketball team playing in a baseball stadium in a hockey market. I didn't know anybody in Canada. Expansion is a rare opportunity, so accepted the position with uh, Toronto and came here in April of 95, a couple of months before the expansion draft. Uh, you know, I remember Isaiah Thomas and I would drive around Toronto. We'd, there's kids playing street hockey, but you couldn't find a basketball hoop. You couldn't find basketball. Something's coming. I can sing it now with my red view. At first, we didn't have the Raptors. We didn't have any other basketball to watch other than in the summertime, there would be the men's tournaments. We didn't have a path to look at anything, especially coming from Brampton. A lot of what was going on back then with basketball didn't exist now, right? So it was very hard to just get in a gym. And then two, we didn't have a lot of players that knew the game, had exposure to the pro game. I felt when I got involved in the CEBL, the city of Brampton needs a professional basketball team. Brampton has produced high-level athletes in basketball, soccer, hockey. But I think for basketball in particular, the people that live here, 43% of the people that live in Brampton are South Asian. They aren't playing hockey. They're playing cricket, or they're playing basketball, they're playing soccer. So that's why I think there's a, there's a real good fit here. They get to see their local players, the local guys that uh, came up here. They, they never had a chance for that. And then two, it's gonna ignite some young players because now I can see a guy that looks like me, a guy that's like from where I'm from, speaks my language, you know? He knows that whatever the situation is, he's from there and I can tap into that. All the youth are involved and they wanna be able to you know, play professional basketball. So even just having this here gives them another, another thing that they could look at. This will continue to grow and these players will make uh, headway into the community to play with our youth and be with them and teach them what it's like to one day step on this court. What made it most rewarding was because the people that we had. But I was blessed to have a group of people that I loved, just exceptional people, all of them. And so to see them reach their goal and get to the top. Figuring I'd be here for a year or two. 28 years later, it's become home, and you know, the work was, was rewarding and stimulating and enjoyable, but it was definitely because of the people. I say I came for the job, I stayed for the, because of the people. This is a big game tonight. This is a rematch of the championship game from last year. This is GTA East against GTA West. It's going to be a fantastic game. You guys are in for a great time. It's a championship rematch here in Brampton as this Brampton crowd will see their Honey Badgers for the first time. It's Scarborough who's going to have revenge on their mind. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you stay tuned. It's huge. You felt the tension. You know, we beat them, right? What do you seek? My vision complete. Them as back as they come. Honey Badgers are ready. The shooting stars are ready. And we are underway. Going down low. Tillman Jr. trying to work his way inside. Our Kennedy is throwing us down. Oh, what a way to start the game. They're, they're continuing the culture that we already built here, right? They know the expectations, the standards, and we're leaning on them to help with the younger guys. You know, going through a championship season, you go through so much ups and downs, and those guys have been through that, so they can let these guys understand what it is. 
as coaches, of course, we can do a lot, but you know, we don't play, right? It's those guys on the court. So with those guys there, they can, they have a, like a big brother to lean on, right? And those guys were rookies too, so they know what it is to be that rookie and go through the mistakes. So it's good having that synergy between the two. It's target score time at the CAA Center. The other night when we saw Ottawa come back down eight to win a game. Down to six, top side for the win. Bam! Hudgens, baby Hudgens! Scarborough, no doubt, was, was ready. This was, seemed like their revenge game. This shit is about willpower right now. It's about willpower. Vital almost picked off there by Barber. Vital fires a tough shot and he knocks it down. Deep three and he hits it. Oh, Kristen Vital back to back buckets. Can he do it three possessions in a row? This time goes down low to Tillman Jr. and up, drops through. Driving and a nice feed from Cody John. And he hits it. Just like that, Joe, it's a brand new ball game. We knew we were going to move, but we ain't fooled on each other. And that's what we do. Now let's finish this shit. One stop at a time, fellas. One stop. Everything we got. One stop. Up top, Barber. Three pointer. Off the mark. Fighting down low and a tip in. Situational awareness. A one possession game now. McEwen fading. Hits it. We've got a tie game. And, and that's fine. We know we're going to get every team's best shot. All right, you're the champions. They're trying to make a name off you. You know, with Scarborough next door, there is this kind of east-west GTA thing that happens between the two markets. So the more successful you are, the more people are going to come for you. Basketball in the hands of Cat Barber. He's guarded by Kobe McEwen. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Chapman fading. And that's fine, I think we're up to the challenge. And as the season goes on, and we'll see what really happens uh, in the end. And I think there's a lot of mutual respect back and forth. And, and when that's the case, I think you can have a, a really good, healthy rivalry. You know, we have a lot of fun with it, and, and I'm sure that uh, Scarborough's going to come out and uh, look to even that score this year. It was the lesson in our loss was that everybody's coming for you every night. So I think that was a big learning curve. It happened early on in the season, and we're going to bounce back from that and just keep building.